today we are taking your health back with me, Wendy Lowe. We are coming to you from our studios of Think Tech Hawaii in downtown Honolulu and from my home office in Makiki. You all know that I'm a promoter of prevention and awareness. Today, Dr. Oliveira will be talking to us about just that, disease prevention and quality of life. Welcome, Dr. Arnaldo Oliveira. Oh, thank you, Wendy. Thank you so much for inviting me and thank you for uh, uh, Think uh, Tech Hawaii for allowing this space for us to uh, talk about important issues. Yes, you know, I've been wanting you to come on my show for a long, long time. Your schedule is always booked up, so I, that's why I reserved you. And you are here, so I'm very excited to share you with the rest of the world. So, Dr. Oliveira, please share a little bit about yourself before we begin. Um, I have been working in natural medicine for the past 20 uh, years uh, here in Honolulu, Hawaii. Uh, I uh, my, my focus is on uh, prevention, disease prevention. Uh, but also, I want quality of life, and I'm very interested in, in increasing your health span. Or in other words, I want you to be as healthy as possible for the long uh, time as possible. And all these things together will lead to longevity as well. So I work with natural medicines and natural therapies to, to achieve that goal. Well, I know that when I first met you, it came from, um, I had to be referred to you. and. Um, uh, making sure that I understood what uh, type of doctor you are and that I received whatever um, information they gave me about you. And I was positive that walking into your office would make some difference in one way or another for my benefit. So I was very grateful to do that, walk into your office. But when I got to you, I know that you were sharing with me a little bit about where your medical history comes from. I know that you're from Brazil. And what was your specialty in Brazil? Uh, I was born and raised in Rio, Brazil, and uh, in Brazil, I was a trauma surgeon. Yes. Uh, I practiced that for a long time. Uh, I specialize in facial trauma. And uh, after a while, uh, I believe that God brought me to Hawaii. And so I changed my, my focus to, um, to emergency medicine, uh, like trauma surgery, to uh, natural medicine. And uh, it's been a wonderful um, 20 years. Wow, 20 years already, huh, doctor? So I know from a trauma surgeon in Brazil to a doctor in acupuncture and oriental medicine here in Hawaii. Cultures are different, people are different, medicine is different, but you've nailed it by focusing on just prevention and wellness and through what you've been doing as an obedient servant of God. So I'm very grateful that you heard the call and you were very obedient by coming and not knowing what was on the other side of the water, you came and you were very, um, as I said, obedient. And look at where you are now. You've helped so many people in your practice. So I would like to ask you, how would you describe your practice, Dr. Oliveira? Well, um, to describe my practice, uh, we, we need to also to talk about um, what is going on in the world and especially in, in this um, wonderful country. Um, we, uh, our citizens are suffering from chronic disease and, um, and the, the healthcare system is not really healthcare, but more like disease care. Uh, so the therapies and the drugs and everything um, never look to the causes of disease. And in my practice, I, I will look and try to find what is causing the disease itself and try to um, to deal with the causes. Uh, for example, um, I think that uh, we are spending over $4 trillion in chronic disease. And chronic disease is uh, cancer, is diabetes, is cardiovascular, stroke, uh, but without having uh, very good results, uh, the average American is taking uh, anywhere from from five to 15 different drugs daily. And um, in, in my practice, we, by identifying the causes, uh, we, we hope that uh, we improve not only the quality of life, but also the health span. Wow, wow. what a concept, <laughs> right? What a concept. So 
What is the difference between disease and chronic disease? A uh, chronic disease is disease that uh, it's not like acute. It's a disease that uh, uh, has a long standing. For example, diabetes or cancer. Those things don't um, uh, don't appear overnight. Uh, it's a, it's a, like a overtime process uh, of not eating well and uh, of having too much inflammation. Um, in, inflammation will, will lead to chronic disease especially cancer, diabetes, uh, uh, cardiovascular, stroke, and things like that, so autoimmune. Yes. So what diseases do you treat in your practice? Well, um, um, I would say that um, about 85% of my uh, focus is on prevention. So I do treat diseases, uh, but uh, I try to prevent that the diseases ha happen anyway, um, and I'll, I'll I'll treat anything, but uh, I'll treat um, things that um, with natural medicines, and, and it can be anything basically. It's right. Somebody comes in the door, you run your test and your your process on them, and then you diagnose them. And then the good thing is you. Um, being, I want to call it Eastern medicine. I don't know what the proper term is, but the system that you use, um, you're not evasive. You're not drawing blood or you're not going in for any dissections of any sort, but you are doing, I and I, again, correct me if I'm wrong. I tell people it's the pressure points and you, by looking at the different organs through pressure points, you can diagnose and see some of the issues that's going on in your body. Is that correct? That's correct. So I use a technique that was developed by a German doctor called Dr. Vol, and it's called electroacupuncture, according to Vol. And so I measure points on the fingers and toes, and, and these points are associated with organs and, and, and systems of the body. By doing that, I'm able to see where the problem is, and then I use homeopathy and other herbal products to... Um, to treat the, the, the problems. That's amazing. I um I went to your clinic. I didn't tell you what was wrong with me, and you looked at me and you did that pressure point and and with I call it like a probe, like a joystick. But it it I just sat there and I was ready to receive what you could find out that was going on in my body, and you absolutely nailed it. And so I am a true believer of it, of course. And what I, I, I did know and I share with others is that go into the office and be ready to receive good news, bad news, whatever the news the doctor wants to share with you, you need to be ready to receive it because he's not going to tell you, oh, you're great. You didn't come in to hear that. So you're going to tell them the truth and what's going on in their body. And I thought that was very important. So as I said, I went in, sat, listened. That was very difficult for me to do, but I just listened. and you absolutely nailed um, what was going on in my body and then you were able to diagnose and prepare um, this treatment for me that through course of time you fixed me and it was my pancreas and you you elevated it to function at a higher level so that I would not have to take common medicine medication for the rest of my life so for that I'm truly grateful and I wanted that for more and more people who are ready to receive what you have in, in your clinic. So that's why I really wanted you to come on this program so that you could share with others uh, because it's hard for me to just keep talking and talking to everybody, but that we have this, they can better have a level, better level of confidence to walk into your doors, knowing that you can try your best to locate what's going on in their body and direct them to wellness. Is that correct? That's correct. Right. Yeah, so um, we, uh, we like you described, we only use natural medicines uh, and uh, herbs and uh, homeopathy, and and we've been doing this for a long time. Uh, the main focus is is on prevention, but we do treat, and uh, and by doing that, uh, we seem to uh, to really uh, increase health span. Um, we also focus a lot on on the blue zones and the traits of the blue zones. For those who don't know, the blue zones are uh, five uh, places uh, on this planet where 
there are an unusual number of centenarians, or, or in other words, the people who live, uh, who pass 100 years um, of life. And these places are uh, the Costa Rica, Loma Linda, California, Sardinia, the uh, a Greek island uh, named Icarus, and Okinawa. And we just had uh, our Okinawa festival this weekend uh, uh, to celebrate the, 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 the great community of Okinawa's here. So they have common traits of things, and um, uh, and it, it seems that they do the, the similar things to uh, to live longer. One is to move a lot; they are always walking. Uh, the other one is that they uh, they seem to manage to stress really well. Um, they kind of slow down; they downshift. Um, they stop eating when they are eighty percent full. And I think the Okinawans uh, uh, said, have a saying for that, which is uh, haraichibume, which means when you 80% full, you stop. Um, their diet is basically a plant-based diet. Um, they eat very little uh, fish or pork or, uh, and rarely red meat. Um, they seem to have a plan of life. And again, you know, the Okinawans call that uh, ikigai. Uh, like a purpose in life. Uh, they also, they, they put a lot of emphasis on family. Uh, if you go to, if, if you visit those places, uh, there's no nursing homes. They take care of their elderly. Mm -hmm. um, they have friends that they share life with. And also the Okinawas have a name for that, which is uh, Moai. Uh, and they, Drink a little glass of wine at five. Mm -hmm. They they have joy. They have a spirituality. They seem to have uh, like a, a connection with a higher power. Uh, not religion, more spirituality. Um, so all these things um, uh, seem to uh, make people live longer. And we try to apply the same concepts uh, in, in, in the clinic here. Wow. Wow. Well, you pass the test of what is the blue zone. And so that's amazing. I mean, sometimes I forget one of the five, but you've absolutely nailed it. I'm so proud of the people of the blue zones. And we uh, really try and uh, tried hard and will continue to try that Hawaii should be one of those blue zones because of that's our size, our location, um, and the fact that we can eat a lot of the food that Hawaii produces, the outdoor activities, everything about it. Plus we have community, plus we have intergenerational within a home. So that really helps. All of these things should make Hawaii a blue zone. So folks out there, we need to work harder for that to happen because we want to be number six on that list because it's just amazing when you watch the, the generations, how they mix. And I think that's a large part of it. I love to see the centenarians greeting the preschoolers coming out of school and giving them a hug. That's what we need. We need more of that intergenerational. And then the diet, the quality of life, the level of stress, um, everything makes for a blue zone, which Hawaii should be. So yeah. keep up what you're doing. And together, we can all make a difference towards that direction. We need it. All right? Yeah. Yes. And blue is my favorite color. So we need to make Hawaii more <laughs> blue. Yeah. Okay. So chronic disease is a big problem. What are the causes of chronic disease? Well, I, I, I briefly uh, mentioned that in um, the main cause of uh, chronic disease is inflammation. Yes. Inflammation is a, is, a, is a process, a natural process in the body that it is it's meant to help us, to protect us. But if inflammation goes rampant and chronic, you will lead to cancer, to diabetes, to uh, cardiovascular, to stroke, to Alzheimer's, uh, autoimmune, and, and you name it. There's a big list of chronic diseases. Um, but what is more important, and, and my focus is, um, what causes inflammation? And in that slide that you just showed, um, there are different factors that cause inflammation. One of them is stress. The stress is directly related to increased inflammation. Uh, uh, another cause of uh, inflammation 
is is bad food. It's processed food, food with uh, a lot of chemicals that will invariably cause inflammation in the body. Um, like obesity um, is a, a contributory factor for inflammation. Uh, like gut issues also create inflammation in the body. We also have um, diseases like viral and bacterial diseases that cause inflammation in the body. Um, for example, the COVID that caused, you know, like a, a, a lot of inflammation in the lung that initially killed people. Uh, pollution causes inflammation, like environmental toxins, like uh, eating uh, veggies uh, uh, that uh, are sprayed on with pesticides, herbicides, that causes inflammation. Um, lack of sleep causes inflammation. We need to work on our uh, sleep uh, to avoid that. Um, so these are the, the, the areas uh, uh, that I'll, I'll, I, I focus my, my practice to prevent that inflammation um, it stays in this chronic state and will lead to diseases like diabetes and cancer and cardiovascular. Uh, so how do I do that? So in terms of stress, I will try to manage stress. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and, and I go from there, you know, uh, if, you, uh, if, I, uh, if you have um, environmental toxins, I'll, I'll help your body to detox. Uh, if you need to lose weight, we'll help you to do that. Um, if you have a viral or bacterial infection, we also treat that. Uh, if you need to sleep better, yes, we'll, uh, we'll work on um, uh, what we call sleep hygiene, so we can, you know, sleep uh, soundly and, 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 and consistently longer times. Uh, so that's, that's the focus of what we do here on a daily basis. So your approach is uh, definitely holistic, and that's what I really love. Um, knowing that we can come in there and I'm not going to walk out uh, and being sent to the pharmacist and uh, getting all four and five and six bottles of things that I can't even pronounce to take into my body. But that you could just tell me what I need to do and, you know, bring to or get to me what you have there, which you highly researched and know how they will um, affect cause of reason I came to you. So with all these factors that you've described, causing all this inflammation and chronic diseases. How does your practice address the difficult, these difficult issues? Um, how do you tell us and what do we need to do after you, you've diagnosed us and, and found out what's our cause? What, what does your clinic do for us? Well, uh, you, you, you briefly show a slide that um, is uh, showing exactly what we do with a holistic approach. Uh, if you, uh, if the stress is a big factor for your uh, inflammation or is it creating uh, health damage, we have to address that. And how do we do that? We can use natural uh, medicines to do that. We can use techniques to help you uh, manage your stress better. Uh, stress is always going to exist, uh, but we have to manage. Uh, so it doesn't take over uh, our immune system and, and inflammation doesn't grow uh, uh, out, of, out of control because of uh, stress. And then we work on, uh, like, if, if you need to lose weight, yes, we, uh, you know, if weight is a factor in causes inflammation, we're going to help you to lose weight. There are a wonderful uh, natural techniques that um, um, people sometimes, you know, like they lose eight pounds a week in a week. You know, and, and we and that's a highly anti-inflammatory therapy that I use. Uh, it's a mimicking fast diet. Um, it's it's a it's really effective. Uh, we need to fix your gut. If your gut is not working well, um, about sixty percent of your immune system is is in the gut, and we have to fix that. Uh, how do we do that? Again, we use uh, natural medicines to do that. We improve your diet. We're going to give you uh, uh, sound uh, nutritional uh, recommendations uh, and instructions. Um, if you have a viral infection, we're going to treat that naturally as well. Um, uh, there, what we do here uh, is really uh, effective against those things. Um, if you, 
need to be detox. Uh, the same way we uh, are going, uh, we are going to deploy uh, all our therapies to help you detox from natural to uh, environmental toxins, and that's basically a holistic approach, addressing all the uh, issues that might cause inflammation. Wow. You know, so I, I just really wanted you to talk about that. Uh, and what I'm hearing you say that the holistic approaches that you are using are all natural remedies. I know that you will fix and prepare um, exactly what each uh, patient needs according to their needs. And that's what I like really. I mean, I call you like an apothecary. And you find out what's wrong with us and you measure out what we need. And then you go to your little table and you start mixing things. You know, I thought that's so cool. <laughs> and knowing that it's not like a pharmaceutical and one more pill after another. And like I said, the ones that we can't even pronounce. So I know that I'm in good hands when I walk into your door. And I want others to know that if they're serious about wellness or about prevention, that they would seek um, a higher means of, uh, of cure and of getting or feeling better. And that's by walking into your clinic and understanding how valuable what you do for them. And and yes, it's not it's not that cheap, guys. It's not. However, it's a one time year you're gonna get well and better. So you don't have to pay for the rest of your life every month, uh, even if it's a copay from a doctor or a hospital. You're going to pay up front, but it's not that bad. But it will take care of you and it'll Take care of your body so your body doesn't have to endure uh, unex um, unnecessary stress that you are going to endure when taking pharmaceuticals. So I'm so grateful to you, doctor, and you can hear it in my voice. So um, after addressing all of your uh, all the other inflammation causing factors, what do you do to increase the lifespan, the quality of life, and longevity of me and your patients? <laughs> Well, we, 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 we talk a little bit about that. So I, I, I use the blue zone concepts and I try to adapt that not only to my life personally, yeah. but also to, to the patients. Uh, if you can move around more, if you can walk more, if you can be more physically active, uh, you don't really need a gym, but you need to be active. Uh, you need to, to leave your couch and walk. Uh, if you need to buy something, don't don't use your car, just walk or bike. Um, you, uh, we need to control our stress, um, you know, all of us. Uh, we need to manage stress. We, we need to, to get uh, less overwhelmed with, uh, with life. Um, and, and this is the blue zones, uh, exactly what I'm, I'm talking here. You downshift. Uh, you have to stop eating too much. When you're 80% full, you just stop it uh, because, you know, uh, you, you don't need to go on and have seconds. Uh, you have to have a cleaner diet, uh, a, a basically a plant-based diet. Uh, it's okay to have some animal protein, but not the level that most Americans do. Um, we, need to, um, uh, we need to have a plan, a purpose in life, not only to our lives, but how we uh, apply our gifts to our communities, to help others, uh, we need to um, we need to have joy. That's the 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 wine at five means. You know, if you don't need you don't need to drink wine, but you have to have joy. Um, you have to uh, to respect your uh, the elderly and to love the elderly, take care of them. Um, you have to have friends. You have to. Uh, to have some sort of spirituality, some kind of connection to a higher power. So we try to apply that in a, on a daily basis and, and, and that invariably not only uh, help us to uh, prevent disease, but also improves our quality of life uh, and increases uh, our health span. And all of these factors uh, will lead to longevity yes. uh, invariably. And you know, um... Over the course of the last few years, you know, um, there's a lot of negative negative um, things that we had to endure. 
But um, there were a lot of positive, and we always have to try and find the positive in everything that happens. And so what I like to, uh, my takeaway from the last few years is that I didn't drive hardly as much, but I did walk more. I was walking, I live up on Ward Avenue. I was walking to Macaulay, then to Alamoana Park. I was walking to Chinatown. I walked everywhere because I had more time and um, just because. And, you know, I still continue those habits, walking, walking, walking. I'm not a runner, and but I do love to walk. And then I walk to the beach and I walk to the parks and we walk and walk. And I think those, as I said, anything that happens, good or bad, you always want to look for the good. And um, for me, the last few years really encouraged me to get out, walk more. When I walked more, I felt better. So I had it was easier for me to claim a healthier lifestyle. Um, I thought I was living a healthy lifestyle, but it got even healthier. And, you know, when I went to see you the last time, you know, I, we talked about the consumption of, of beef, right? And uh, because one of my friends says, oh, my gosh, Dr. Oliveira eats meat. And I said, of course he does. And so you shared with me, and I want to share with everyone, that it's not that he, we eat meat, but it's how much of it we eat. So just exactly what you said, uh, Dr. Oliveira. So, yes, we can reward ourselves with all the yummy things, but it's how much we eat. And that really, really matters. So thank you for confirming that, um, Dr. Oliveira, and really emphasizing the blue zones. And um, I wish more people would look into that so they can see how to live and live better, uh, along with all the great, great advice that you share with us. So uh, Dr. Oliveira, for those of us who want to improve the, their quality of life, their health span, and live longer, where are you located? And how do we get in touch with you uh, when they want to take their health back? Uh, I am right here in Honolulu. Uh, this is my information there. Um, uh, you can call. I think I have a phone number there. Uh, I would love to, to meet you and to talk to you if you have any questions. Uh, there is a great documentary on the Blue Zones uh, on Netflix right now. I encourage everybody to watch because uh, it, it's a... Uh, um, it's a very effective way to 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 improve your quality of life and 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 hopefully live longer. Uh, yeah. But if you need help in other areas, uh, also I can I I'm, I'm here. Um, very good. And, and yes, he's there, and he has uh, office hours uh, that you can call his secretary. A uh, secretary, Sandra, will be there to answer your calls and book an appointment for you. But Right now, Dr. Oliveira, our show has now come to a close. I would like to just mahalo you, Dr. Arnaldo Oliveira, for taking your some time out of your very busy schedule to help all of us work on prevention so that we can enjoy a better quality of life. I am Wendy Lowe, and we'll return in two weeks with another edition of Taking Your Health Back. Aloha and mahalo, Dr. Oliveira. <laughs>